This is the upper area of the duodenum. Matter pre-processed from the stomach enters here through the pylorus above. It has a lovely bile-colored decor, and for a very good reason. This is the area in which raw processed ingestibles are mixed with a variety of secretions for further breakdown. Ah, the old ampulla of Vater, surrounded by the sphincter of Adi. Didn't you always wonder what it looked like? The bile slick seems to be a little fresher there. Welcome to the heart of the bile belt. This is indeed spew central. At this location, secretions from the liver, gallbladder, and pancreas merge to form a duodenal delight, guaranteed to break down almost anything the stomach doesn't. The common bile duct runs up from here. Wow, check out all that bile. Looks like her liver's been doing just fine. That's a pool of bile any liver would be proud of. You sure can't speak highly of its aroma. You cleverly tape the capillaries together. Nice work. You've hooked up your makeshift hose to the pump. Nothing happens. You chuck one of the taped capillaries over the muscular ledge. It drops into the pool. You give the pump a stroke or two, and in the process, gather a nice helmet load of bile. I guess congratulations are in order. The gallstone is wedged in the bile duct, and that's just a fine place for it. Nice gallstone collection. You are visually unimpressed. This is the main pancreatic duct. It appears that there's some blockage toward the tail of the pancreas. It definitely gets a bit snug. Seems to be a buildup of cholesterol arterial plaque.
And here we have the islands of Langerhans. They're a big deal here in the pancreas. Apparently, they play an important part in introducing hormones to the blood system as well as adding an enzyme which, when joined with the bile secretion from the gallbladder, forms some kind of spew that breaks down stuff the stomach acids don't, fats, and that kind of thing. Not only that, but some cells release insulin and others release glucagon to counter the insulin. It even offers up a bicarbonate to counteract the stomach's acid. All in all, it's a pretty strange and busy organ. It just looks like a uvula warehouse to me. You maneuver your helmet beneath the drip and manage to snag a nice little dollop of the stuff. It's one of those tiny timed release pills. It's one of those tiny timed release pills. You now own one of those tiny timed release pills. 